What's up, Internet? It's starting to get cool outside, and you know what that means. Boost weather season. Stay warm, we'll make it more free horsepower. What is up, Internet? I am making a solo trip to go get a new project for the shop. For me. Project for me. Really looking forward to it. Got about an hour drive to where it's at. And uh, we'll give you an update when we get there. Stole Lane's new truck and his trailer. This is the new Risky Habits tow rig. Mm, trailer. Uh, basically brand new Reman 6.4. A rocket ship it makes good horsepower that's awesome but let's go find my new truck she's tucked way back here in the corner I'm really excited made a trade with my dad for one of the first gens not this one this is a big block truck that he's gonna build there there you are girl Try not to shock myself on this electric fan. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, there we are. Front clip. Look how easy it's going to be to put a engine here. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm excited. It's a little rusty. Not bad though. I can't, it's been sitting over here for a long time. Uh, me and my dad picked up this one, this one, and that one as a pair. Oh, years ago now. Out of a field. Man. Oh, I forgot how... It's an old tin grill. So excited. I think my dad's keeping these step sides. And I'm getting those step sides that are in the box. Because... That truck will be a step side truck too. So it'll be matchy matchy. Okay, I'm gonna start getting some things cleaned up here. I'm gonna put the camera down. Back at the shop, it's been a couple days. I had a couple wobbly pops the Saturday before we went and got the truck. That's the shop. Like I said in the before. I'm so freaking excited about this. It is a 76. D100. <clears throat> no engine. It is actually in the box. It was originally a slant six truck. Wood's rotten. Glass is good. <clears throat> if this turns over, I'll sell it as a pair with the transmission. If it's locked right up, probably go in the steel bin. Ain't no one got time for slant six stuff. So what I didn't say in the video is that box sides and stuff that were in the box of the truck were gonna be mine for this truck. Might still be, but someone went back and took one of these fenders, just one. So now we have everything else but a tailgate and one of these to make a second set of step sides. So that black fleet side truck, I'll probably end up with the fleet side box, which is fine. I'm just happy I got a short box because they're hard to find, especially <clears throat> in decent shape. Like this is from sitting on the ground. 
needs rockers. In a good clean, there's a little bit of rust on the floor, but it's really not bad. It's complete, I got that door panel on the floor there. I got the cluster cover. No one clack in, crack in the glass, but that don't really matter. Doesn't have a steering box. But you can get all that stuff new. <clears throat> on the plus side my dad has like 11 first gens so a little bit newer stuff will fit on this and you know rock auto is a wonderful place for suspension stock suspension stuff it's not staying brown and it's not going to be orange i'll tell you that for free but It'll probably just stay like this and be a driver for a little while. Want to see the engine? One sec. Now, y'all are going to hate me, but uh, don't look at that. Just kidding. Ain't put a fing LS in a goddamn Mopar. 5.7 Hemi, baby. It's a 2013 5.7. I uh, was told it has about 50, 60,000 kilometers on it. It's not high mild at all. It started making lifter noise. They checked the oil, checked the filter. There's no sparkles in it. So they pulled it. The guy had money. Pulled it, put a different engine in it that didn't make that noise. Traded some work for it. I wouldn't put an LS in a Mopar, I'm just yeah, is what it is. Maybe a sucker for punishment, because making horsepower out of those isn't cheap, not like that, but not happening. It's one thing me and Lane agree on, Mopars get Mopars. <laughs> so I, we're gonna do cam, MSD delete, First, <clears throat> get it running, make it function, do all that. The end goal, end goal with it is to do that, do rods, pistons, because we all know the Hemi don't take boost like an LS, not stock. So, rods and pistons, and this will probably end up with a set of Performance World's twin symmetricals. I believe they're 76 mil. Maybe a little smaller, I can't remember. But that's the goal with the truck. Twin turbo Hemi. I know it's a bigger truck than the Ranger. I was looking for a Dakota, but this has way more room for activities. It's going to be a fun little project. Like I said, it's going to stay rusty. It's going to stay brown and orange for a while. But I'll leave the hood closed so no one knows it's got a hammy in it. I'm going to do a big choppy cam. Probably end up with a... Uh, the 8.8 .8 that we had in the Ranger before in it. Because we got it. I know it takes some power, so... It'll be a 727 combo because we have some. Now I gotta figure out a name for it. It's gotta be an old lady's name, just like Brenda, the dart, so. Yeah, old girl. Thanks, Dad. Really, he was, Usually never lets go of anything, but he wants to see it run. And now if I get this running, maybe he'll get his ass in gear and get the big block truck done. Which uh, I'm going to try and make an effort to be part of that build too. 
This is also a, uh, hey, Jake, get your Vega running. Bring it to me, I'll fix it for you. I think that's it. This is gonna be a quick short video. Built a new project. And if you wanna support the project, buy a boost weather hoodie. It's chilly outside. These are pretty warm and rocking this outside with no jacket. So remember, drive fast, take chances, risky habits.